Good morning, everyone. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm I'm out here. This is my peaceful place. Welcome to my peaceful place. I'm out here where my rock gardens and my wind chimes and my birds uh, eat all the time. Y'all won't believe how they do when I'm not out here. They're all over the place. They're flying, swarming. I mean, they're just doing all kinds of when I'm not out here. They don't really care for me being this close to where they eat. I see a hawk. I heard him this morning. Oh, I have some coffee, y'all. This is my coffee. This is my Redbird coffee cup. <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee. It's it's not real, real early. It's uh, I tried to let it warm up. And I have y'all some coffee. Seeing the joy. Here's y'all's coffee, y'all. Y'all have some and come on up here and don't be shy. Don't stay way back there. Come on up here close where y'all can hear and see and everything. I'm going to ask Siri what temperature it is because I don't really know exactly, but I'm going to find out what temperature it is. Hey, Siri. Uh-huh. Uh, what temperature is it today? The high temperature for today will be 57 degrees, and the low will be 39. So, oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not even freezing. Thank you. Let me turn it down where it won't. I cannot see. Okay, I think I've got it turned off now. Oh, I hope the wind doesn't get up too bad. Oh my goodness. Oh y'all, and I have I have some flowers that I picked. They're almost gone. Uh the cold. We had two or three freezing nights that uh got way down and it kinda hurt some of my plants, but not all of them. But anyway. Let me have some coffee. I've been drinking some all morning, but uh, I'm still drinking some. <laughs> uh, and it's not cold, cold out here now. It's, I don't know, it's its not real pleasant, I would not say, but it's, it's okay. You know, I can uh, deal with the no worse than it is in and I love the outdoors. I I got a project to do. I'm going to tell y'all about it in a minute. Where is my bird? But I've been hearing a hawk this morning flying around. And, and uh, I guess they're afraid because hawks will get my birds. They, they have done it before. So let me have. Oh, I just saw a shadow of one. Where did he go? <laughs> He's probably going to go back there and eat. He won't come right up here. Oh, there's one, a red bird. Let me move these flowers where y'all can see back there. He's a big old fat bird, too. Mm. Good old hot coffee. Black. <laughs> Black hot coffee. <laughs> It won't stay warm too long, not in, in this kind of temperatures. And, uh, y'all, I want to tell y'all, I have found out something about my bird seeds. I buy, I buy black oil sunflower seeds. They're just black seeds. The birds come and get one seed and they go and somewhere and crack it open and uh, eat it. So I've been buying sunflower seeds a long time. And but late the last bag I bought had so much trash in it and so many uh, sticks and 
all kind of stuff that I guess it's like everything else. You you paying more for it and you're getting less seeds. But that's the way that's the way things are right now, you know. Uh food and everything is really uh high and people can't a lot of people can't afford to buy some of the things that they usually like and and stuff that that they have ordinarily had all the time it it's not easy to find now so we just gonna have to deal with this situation and try to try to live with it and uh thank the lord for all his blessings that he gives us and help us through this troubled time i'll say it's troubled it, it is a troubling time because there's things going on uh that is very heartbreaking but we're gonna dwell on the good things today instead of the bad maybe <laughs> i am out here this morning going to fix a birdhouse. I told my son, Danny Hodges, I told him I wanted to make a, a bluebird house. And I have some shingles some cedar shingles that came off of an old house about 10 years ago was the shingles was 140 years old the whole house was layered shingles just nailed on uh and and the people decided they wanted to take those shingles off and replace it with uh a regular roof not tin uh, aluminum or whatever you call that stuff that they're putting on house like my house uh, they put a regular roof on there and they had pulled up all these shingles off this house y'all need to be quiet I'm talking people don't like y'all ringing so loud They had a dump truck and they pushed all those shingles to the edge of the house and they put them in that truck and, and they were going to take them to the landfill and dump them and I told them that I wanted those shingles because I had a fireplace and I could burn them, you know, and so when they got through with that house, they took the shingles and brought them back here to my house and dumped them back in the back back there. And I picked out a bunch of them that I liked. I like old stuff, you know, and I have saved some of those shingles and I, I wanted and I wanted to make a birdhouse out of those shingles. I'm go I'm gonna show y'all one of the shingles. I got it in here. This is one of them. It went up like like this. And there's the nail holes that was in it. And I love that. They have not rotted. They got to be 150 years old uh, by now or more. You know, but it's cedar and it's solid. It's not going anywhere. It's not rotting. I had it in a a, a building back there, a shed, uh, stacked up, and they're out of the weather, and they're they're good. They, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They. So I told him I wanted to build a birdhouse. So I told him what I wanted. I wanted uh, a certain way. Well, he told me if I'd bring the shingles up there, and I told him I didn't know if I could do it or not, but he said, uh, bring the shingles up there, and I'll cut out a pattern, and I'll 
you can put it together after I cut it out. Because I didn't have a saw like he's got. And so I took the shingles up there and he marked out a pattern uh, and and he cut it out for me and I got a little bit of that on a uh, video uh, I went up there when he was working trying to get the things cut and these shingles are not square they're you know they're just wood and they're not a board like straight board so he had a time trying to <laughs> straighten up the corners and all that, that that goes along, I never would have got it done by myself. I I was so thankful that he was able to uh, cut them for me. And I'm going to try to put them together, y'all. <laughs> I might not even do that with my, uh, my past experience doing stuff. I, sometimes I, I, I think I can do more than I can do. And, but... He's got the things cut the way they need to be. And I'm going to put it together and I'm going to show y'all. Sides, they won't go but one way. As, as long as they opposite from one another, and and notice this is the back. It goes inside this. The front goes inside. Like that. The flush with that. Yeah. Is that all you got to show me? Yeah. <laughs> this is just going to be a, a little, uh, it's about time for bluebirds to start looking for a place to. I've been looking for a nesting place where they can lay their eggs. They uh, have babies early in the spring, you know, they, they, uh, and they always come out here to my yard I, I see and they'll bluebirds will be out there and they'll be coming up there and they'll have little worms and bluebirds do not eat black oil sunflower seeds they eat insects so they never come up here to my seeds they don't eat them they eat they fly around and see something crawling and they fly down there and get it they take it over there to their babies and uh, uh, whenever they the babies are in there, they both go looking for insects to feed their babies. So it's really uh, interesting to watch the bluebirds and uh, red birds. They they lay they don't lay their uh, eggs in a in a house. They they go to a tree or a shrubbery or something that they can they're not uh that kind of bird that goes to those houses and puts their nest in there i've never had a red bird to put their nest in a house they they go in the bushes and thick things and so nothing won't bother their eggs so uh i'm gonna take this tablecloth off <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my little house cut pieces out here and show y'all how I'm gonna try to do y'all know I said try uh, this is a little out of my element 
but sometimes I'm out of my element a lot of times when I need to stay in my element, not try to veer out too far because some things are difficult to get done, but it's such a beautiful, oh, the sky, there's no clouds in the sky. Every, anywhere, it's all blue, no puffy white clouds anywhere. So, I see my blue bird, uh, red, red bird. Oh, they're eating back there. When I'm not out here, they fly all up in here, all up here. But they don't do it while I'm out here. here. But they just, and they want to come up here now, but they don't want me out here. They want me to go on. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get my table prepared for my birdhouse, so I, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Okay, y'all, this is the this is the pieces that I have to put together. This is, this is them. It's not many, but I, I'm just wondering if I'm going to be able to nail it by myself. And I, I mean, I, I, I don't know, y'all. Be back. This is the bottom. I'm going to put this. I don't need that. What's the next part? <laughs> Good gracious! Oh, this, this is this part. And y'all see.
this is this y'all is not gonna be anything fancy <laughs> if I can even get it together oh my my that nail let me Okay. This nailed.
Okay, y'all. I've got it together. I'm going to have to... I'm going to decorate it. I'm going to put some uh, stuff on it that uh, look a lot better. There it is. My birdhouse. <laughs> and there's the sides. Okay, let me, uh, I'm going, I'm going to put some, uh, uh, let's see, where's my stuff I'm going, oh, I'm going to put some moss on it. I think it would look good with some moss on it. I thought my camera was on and it wasn't on. Y'all, I'm just, I don't know. I put some moss on here and this is, this is some real mushrooms that I uh, got off a log. I may go up there and get some more because uh, I sort of like them. I hope these <laughs> birds know what this is. They probably never seen a bird house like this before. I haven't either. <laughs> Y'all. I haven't seen a, a birdhouse like this myself, but this is one. I'm going to put a, a few more pieces of moss on here.
threw them away. <laughs> They not gonna know if this is a house or or what. But it's gonna be y'all, this is one of a kind. <laughs> y'all know. This is not, uh, not another one like this. Nowhere. The birds will love this, don't y'all? If they even know it's a birdhouse. <laughs> they might think it's a tree. Uh, bluebirds like to nest in, in a house. Maybe they'll figure this, maybe they'll figure out this is a house. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness, y'all, look. How pretty. That's the back. Gracious, how beautiful. I don't know if I need anything right there or not. I don't think 
think I'm going to put anything there. I'm just going to leave it like it is. That is beautiful. <laughs> well, that's my birdhouse. I don't know what everybody else's birdhouse looks like, but this is what my birdhouse looks like. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad I've got through with it. Trying to figure out what to put and where to put and Oh, I see something else needs something on it. A little bit of moth right there. And a little bit right there. Where's that other one? Right here. So maybe I'll get through in a minute, y'all. I'm gonna set my table up. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I finally got through with my project that I was that I did this today with uh in my peaceful place. This is a bird. A, it's gonna be a bluebird house. I hope the bluebirds recognize it as a house for them. <laughs> I don't know, but. Maybe, maybe they will. I hope so. I made it unique for them uh, to have a birdhouse that it looks like the wilderness. <laughs> this is made for my bluebirds, and I, I want it. I want it to. I wanted it to be a different uh, looking birdhouse than an ordinary birdhouse for just this one time <laughs> I'm gonna see if the bluebirds like it I like it I love it I made uh well I had a lot of help with this <laughs> cutting it out putting it together wasn't too easy either y'all cause uh that's not my uh that's not what I do ordinarily that you know Kind of a little bit difficult for, for me, but my son made it easy. He he cut it out and uh, got it all ready for me to put together. So that's what I tried to do today. I tried to put it together, and it's a it's a bluebird house for my little bluebirds to come nest in this spring, and it's not going to be long. They're going to be looking for a nest, and... I'm going to find a place for it somewhere. I haven't decided yet where I'm going to put it. But this is my finished project, y'all. And and let me ask y'all, uh, if y'all don't mind, uh, subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. And share it to Facebook. I think would help me some, you know. Uh, a lot of people's on Facebook, and, and I put it on my Facebook, but if y'all would, uh, wouldn't would mind sharing it to your Facebook, maybe it'll help me to get views. And I think it is absolutely beautiful, and I think it's one of a kind. There's not another birdhouse like this. Yeah. <laughs> And I've got to give my son credit for the hard part. He he cut it out, got it all ready for me to 
put together so so it wouldn't be so long and hard for me to do because I didn't have a saw and I didn't have all the things that I probably need to do this and, and I won't be doing these this that much because once you see a bird well this is not a really ordinary bird house this is a this is a a bird house that you don't hardly see any like it. <laughs> I think it's beautiful, y'all. I think it's beautiful. A bird could, I guess they can find that hole. <laughs> I believe they can. I want to thank y'all again for watching this and being so patient and so kind and so caring to me. I am so blessed by all you uh, comments and uh, kind things that y'all say to me. That's a blessing. Uh, just just makes me uh, feel good to know that I have I have a YouTube family out there that love me and I love my family and y'all. I. Someone sent me, and I can't remember who it was right now. Y'all, I got so much to think about. I cannot think about all the individual names that I need to remember. But this last video I did, their cat was sitting up there looking at me and just turning his head. And I can't remember the cat's name. I was going to remember that, but I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, thank you for sharing. That is the sweetest thing. I love cats. I've always had cats. Uh, when I was young, I had about nine cats <laughs> at my house. And I didn't want to get rid of them. And I, I just, but, but I don't have any now. I don't have any pets. Uh, Birds and cats don't mix too good unless you keep them in the house. But anyway, I love cats and I love dogs. I love animals, but it has come down and I've had them all my life. All during uh, my life, I've had all kind of animals. And, but it's just come down to I don't have any. and. The last one that I had broke my heart. Uh, broke my heart when he got killed out there on that road. And he crawled back down to that white cross out there. Uh, I'll let y'all see that. He crawled back that, that far down there to... Let me see if y'all see that little cross out there. It's way out there. You can't see it too good, but... And I don't even think you can see it at all. But there's a cross out there. I just I just don't want to get attached anymore to... anything that, uh... To have a pet that something happens to, it just leaves a... A, a hole in your heart that was so sweet anyway thank y'all again for watching and being the people y'all are y'all do, y'all don't know what y'all mean to my life I, I i'm just never thought that i could do anything that people would watch but it's i have i have this stuff that i make it's not anything elaborate it's just what I do. This is my red bird coffee and I'm gonna have a little sip of it. I know it's cold but and I don't like cold coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna take it in the house and warm it up. Uh, there's no bugs in it. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed, blessed rest of the day and be kind to other people that maybe needs a helping hand or a kind word. That helps a lot of people sometimes that really have a 
hard life and, and they need someone to speak and make them feel like they are worthy to be spoken to. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.